Well, it, you know, our seniors have been doing a good job setting an example of, of what's to, to be expected. You know, it's, it's their fourth year in the program, our fifth overall. Um, we don't return a lot of seniors, but the, the seniors we do return are going to be very, should be very productive for us. Our first year, we were out here with 11 guys, you know, and in the summer, and, and uh, we earned that 0 10 record. We, we really did. Uh, and we've gotten better every year, and like I said, we, we broke through that, that district title for the first one since 86, and the playoffs for the first time since 87. And the kids, you know, they, they've bought in because they see I'm bought in. You know, I, I brought the saying on the back of our shirt, I'm in. And I've been, I, I've been in since day one. But now that the kids understand what I'm in means and they understand, you know, that, that as coaches we're committed, we're going to stay, and they've been having some success, it's been easier for them, you know, to get in the weight room, to, to get here at 6 in the morning to lift and, and, and to do the little things. And, you know, I'm expecting us to have about 85 kids 9 through 12 this year. Which is a which is a tremendous improvement from that first year of fifty six. We're going to have a new quarterback this year. Um, we were in a unique unique situation last year when uh, Anthony Abeta got injured. We went into the last game against Capital of the regular season in the playoff game with uh, two kids that were going to battle for the quarterback job this year because we moved Jordan to our running back spot for those last two games. And so senior Taylor Sherwinski and junior Robert Coriz uh, have continued the battle and, and all through the summer, they've been alternating every series in the seven on sevens and which is what they did up in the Aztec game. They alternated series up there. So it's been a good battle and it, it's gonna carry through. And, and uh, you know, one day one will, you'll think one's got it, and then the next day the, the other one will step up and, and try to take it back. So it's going to be a good double days for us with those two kids uh, trying to figure out which guy's going to lead this offense. We do. We have, we have a fullback returning that's, that's going to be a junior for us, Reyes Montano, six foot, 220. And he's a, he's a true a Nevada pistol type fullback. He's, he's a bruiser. Um, and then we'll, we'll use either Christian Gonzalez. Our, our returning senior, or uh, Jaime Perez will be our speed guy. When we go two back, they're our tailback type guy, but they're universal. They'll be in the backfield, they'll be a receiver, um, and, and they're both also gonna play defense. So, so when, we, when we do go two back, we'll, we'll have two quicker kids back there with Reyes. Um, we return a, a three-year starter in Mario Holiday at tight end. Uh, he's a returning all-district tight end for us. Uh, does a great job on uh, on run blocking, and uh, hopefully this year we'll be able to get the ball in the air a little more than we we did last year, because he really does have he does have good hands. And then up front, we're going to return uh, senior Angel Ramirez at our offensive tackle position. He will also play uh, some defensive tackle for us, but uh, he's an all district player as well. Big strong kid, and uh, we'll we'll will anchor the strong side of our line. Him and Mario side by side will, will anchor us there. And then we have a new incoming senior, Johnny Laura, who is a uh, transfer from the, from the Bay Area, from the San Jose area. And uh, he will be our starting center. The only position we're replacing on our offensive line this year from last year is our center. So we're very fortunate to have Johnny moving in. I expect some really big things from him. And then the rest of our offensive line are underclassmen. Uh, our, our right guard will be Elijah Alva. Our uh, left guard will be Harlan Miller, both returning guards. Our returning left tackle uh, will also be a junior, Nathaniel Duran. And then our returning left tight end uh, in our pistol package is a junior, Isaac Romero. On, on defense, you know, we're, we're going to be replacing quite a few guys and, and uh, you know, one guy that's returning that's key to the entire defense is a two-year starter. He's going to be a junior this year, Isaiah Taylor, about 6'2", 215-pound inside linebacker for us, uh, all-district player, uh, and, and uh, we, we expect him to, to take that next step and, and really lead the team. He led the team in tackles last year, but we really need him to, to play more like a senior than a 
than an underclassman for the next two years. Uh, also on the defensive side of the ball, Mario Holiday will, will expand his role at strong safety. Last year he was in the rotation back at strong safety. This year he'll start there. Uh, Taylor Sherwinski, whether he wins the quarterback battle or not, will, will get more playing time at free safety, a position he played last year as well. We've got two pretty good corners. Uh, they're they're first-year starters out there, but Christian Gonzalez, a, a name we've already talked about, and, and Jaime Perez will be our corners. And then up front on the D line, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do the best we can to have six guys between our two tackles and our nose guard, and just rotate every series, every other series. We want to keep our guys fresh up front, but some of the some of the key guys up front uh, is. Uh, Again, Angel Ramirez from the offensive side of the ball, he, he'll be expected to do big things there. Um, we, have, we have Johnny uh, Coriz, who will be our defensive end, weak side defensive end. He should be able to get a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Uh, he's a wrestler, so he's got pretty good understanding of leverage. Another senior returning, Seb Goudelet, uh, will play our strong side tackle, but he also has the ability to play our weak side tackle. So we feel pretty fortunate that we're going to have six guys that we can rotate up front. And then our other linebacker position uh, is going to be a battle between Matt Lopez and Freddie Abeta and for that weak side backer position next to Isaiah Taylor. Well, we, we opened the season on the road at Grant's. Um, and uh, it, it's going to be a good test for us. They have a new coach, but I think I think it's going to be familiar for us because I think they're still going to run the, spay, the, the the spread offense with Corley at quarterback and and uh, the the slot receiver they've got. So I, I don't think much is going to change there offensively. You know, defensively, I, I'm not sure. I, we watch them in seven on seven, so I'm not real sure what we're going to see. But Grants will be a good home or a good opener for us. We'll open on the road. And then week two, we come home and we'll open Ivanhead with new turf uh, and, and kick, off, kick off the season at home with Albuquerque High. Uh, and then we get into a pretty tough stretch on our schedule and, and, and uh, kind of set this up for this two-year cycle intentionally because I knew this team last year and this year would be playoff teams. And, uh, and this is where we start our stretch. of it, It's going to be tough. Week three, Deming comes up and Coach Holguin, and he, he's going to bring they're, – they're good. You know, and we're pretty much mirror images of each other. Last year we were young, and we went down there, and they beat us up pretty good. Uh, we didn't handle the ball well, but but we we're returning most of our linemen. They're returning most of their skilled guys, so it's it's going to be interesting, and and they're going to be a big, strong, physical team, and I think we've closed the gap in the weight room on those guys a little bit. So we we go week three with Deming, then week four we go up to Farmington and play Piedra Vista. Another team that'll be a top 10 team and a, and a team that should be a playoff team. And then week five, we uh, come home and host our, our uh, in-town rival, St. Mike's. And, uh, you know, they've graduated a lot, but I know Coach Fernandez is going to have those guys well coached. And, and they're going to be excited for that Demon Horseman game. And then we, we go actually, I changed my schedule up a little bit. So we have a bye uh, before we get into district. And then we start our district schedule. Uh, we start a district schedule with Española, up at Española, and then we, we play Los Alamos here. And then that buy spot within our district, I, I wanted to get another playoff caliber team, and so we've got to go to Moriarty. And, uh, you know, so that, in the middle of our district, we're going to play another playoff caliber team that, that uh, should give us a pretty good benchmark on how much we've improved from week three with Deming uh, to that to that bye week game against Moriarty, and then we close out district play at Bernalillo, and then the last last regular season game at home against Capital. Thanks for your time, Coach. Kyle, thanks for coming by. We appreciate it.